Hi guys, Terry here. So we're on the letter J in my series of A to Z craft room organization. Um, I wanted to show you about journaling cards. You know, a lot of what we do in scrapbooking is tell the story, and the pictures do a lot of that, but it is very important to write those memorable uh, moments that you remember for that uh, story that you're telling in that scrapbook layout. So uh, let me show you some ideas around journaling cards and um, how I store them in my craft room. So here's where I store my um, Project Life uh, stuff here. I've got um, these totes. I got these plastic totes a while ago. Uh, they're a little bit smaller than a shoebox. Um, they are stackable. They've got these little gray things on the ends that make them stackable. But I have um, Project Life. Um, they come in... Um, different kits and what I've done is I've made little dividers just out of uh, cardstock and labeled the top of them for whatever that theme was. Um, you know, for example, here's baby and then I've got different kits in here that have all the stuff for baby. Um, I've got celebrate, uh, Christmas, puppy dogs, everyday, family, um, different uh, seasons um, and just fun different ones but the idea I'll bring these over to the table and show them to you but I wanted to show you that I do have them stacked here um, I, I think the trick is to have them out so that you can flip through them um, I've seen really large um, wood solutions that maybe sit on a tabletop. I didn't want to take up that much room, and I did want them to be able to be um, on the go. I wanted to be able to take them, um, you know, on a crop. So I do like them in these totes. And then let me also show you the um, plastic pages that Project Life goes into. Let me grab those next. Oh, I should have mentioned um, where I had those cards, uh, the journaling cards, was located in a Calyx shelf. Um, it's made by Ikea. It's the one that has the um, cubes that are, um, you know, 12 by 12 inches so that you can fit a lot of scrapbooking supplies in them. Um, over here on this shelf, I have um, my themed pattern paper. So um, along with these things, um, right here is where I have my project life. And let me show you what those different layouts look like. So let me show you a sample um, project life layout. I started um, project life when I was feeling overwhelmed with all the old um, photos that I had from when I was a kid. Um, I have been scrapbooking 12 by 12 layouts for my kids, but when it came to the bucket of old photos that I had for myself, I was overwhelmed. I thought, I am not going to spend a million years scrapbooking these. So I was looking for something that was quick. And the thing about Project Life is um, the pages, which are like this, they're, they're clear and they are just different pockets, and I'll show you the different layouts. But the idea is that you can quickly pop in a piece of paper and a photo and just do a little simple decoration on it. But the point of what I wanted to talk about today was journaling cards. Because it's, since it's a quick method for popping your pictures in, doing a little bit of decorating, because that's the fun part, but then capturing the story. So this was the first house that I bought, and I wanted to write down, um, you know, something about that story. So even if it's just a some, little something in this square, when somebody's looking at these pictures in the future, um, they're going to know what, uh, the, what this story was about. So um, you can put them in these three ring uh, binders and it holds a lot. Um, so it's just a good way to do something with these old pictures. And sometimes you want to journal a lot. These cards are wonderful for that. So it's pretty paper. And um, let me show you what the different layouts are now of the, um, the plastic pages. So there are many companies that make the different pockets. 
This one here is by um, Memory Keepers. And usually on the outside of the packaging, they'll show you the different layouts. So this one has seven where the photos are uh, horizontal, and then three pages where the pockets are vertical. So there's 10 sheets in here, and it goes into those binder notebooks, and you can simply pop the pictures in. So that's We Are Memory Keepers, and that's just one style. This is um, by Simple Stories, so their stuff is called Snap. And same thing, they're showing it goes in the binder, here's the different pockets, and then here's a sample of it decorated. And this one here, somewhere on here, it should say what the design is. So here it is up here. It's got a, get the glare off of there. It's got a 4 by 12, two 4 by 6s horizontally, another 4 by 6, and then two 3 by 4s. So um, again, each of these companies has a variety, and some of them even have a variety pack where you can get it and it has all their different styles, and you can kind of see uh, which ones you like to use. Here's one by Echo Park. So I think the other thing that you have to be careful of is the holes. You gotta make sure you're buying the right brands for the notebooks. Um, hopefully, these Project Life ones have a standard, uh, you know, notebook bound where the holes are. I have had some where I've had to um, punch some new holes in it so that it fit in the book. Um, but yeah, I would say mainly stick to the brand that you're that you're working with. But then the idea is that these cards are made so that they fit into those. Like here's the baby one for an example. So if you got one of those pages where they were um, horizontal, you know, it would look like this, like that. And then notice that they come with these little um, three by four cards. So that's where the other sizes start coming into. And a lot of times they've got something on, they might have more than one of the same card, like these are, these are all similar, but there's something on the other side. And a lot of times they have lines for you to write the journaling on it. So that works out great. Um, so depending on, um, and like this pack, I'm laying these out like this, but there should be some in here also that then would also be, um, you know, cards that are uh, vertical. I'm not finding one right now, but um, a lot of times the pack will be uh, horizontal one way, and then when you turn it over, it's um, vertical so that it fits in those page layouts. Because I think that was the most frustrating thing when I started was I was popping the pictures in, but then I didn't always have the pictures that were made for those layouts. So um, you kind of decorate in between all the photos, and that works. But um, I mean, I would say the one positive thing about the Project Life is you're popping those pictures in quickly, and you're spending more time on the journaling and telling the story. Um, so, and because the papers are so cute, and you're decorating just one little square at a time, it goes quickly. Um, because one of the things you can do is pop the photos into the books, and then when you have time, go back and write your your journaling in it, you know. So, so that works great. So, the way that I store the, um, let me bring you over here. So when you get those containers of all the different styles, um, I have them in this uh, plastic, I have it in a 12 by 12, um, they used to be called cropper hoppers, but this was from the old, um, oh, not Michael's, oh, Pat Catan's, Pat Catan's, which are no longer around, Michael's bought them out. But when they were around, and I'm sure you can get these um, at various different stores, I'll try to find them on Amazon and link to them. Um, but they're nice because they're 12 by 12 big. But a way, the way I did was I was buying the um, s Simple Stories pockets. And for example, this one is a 12 by 12. So it's their design number one. So I have their design number one in one half of this pocket. So this is the 12 by 12. 
and then in the other side of this pocket here, and I cut these off the um, packaging that came with it. This is design number two, which is the four by sixes horizontally. So I kind of started with the most simple page, the one pager, which I didn't mention that too. You can do a 12 by 12 in amongst all of your other pages that have the um, pockets of photos. So that's fun too. Don't think that you can't do the 12 by 12, the full decorated page. Sprinkle those in amongst your pages that have a whole bunch of um, 4 by 6 photos. So I've labeled it 1 and 2 because those are the designs for um, those two styles. And then that's what I've done across across all of these. They have 10 different ones, like this one here that has three. Uh, this, These were styles that I used less, so I had less of these pages. But here's the five, where it has vertical orientation, and it's got some four by sixes, and then the cute little three by fours. And then six is very similar, only it's horizontal. And then seven had a big six by 12, so half the page, and then some four by sixes. So um, it's just a really fun, cute way. I would say if you're burnt out from doing 12 by 12 scrapbook pages, Project Life is such a fun way to kind of just have to decorate one little square at a time. And then the last thing that I'll mention is um, these plastic totes that I found. Let me bring you over here. Earlier I showed that these plastic totes stack inside the um, calyx, but right now I've showed these now sitting in the top of my RASCOG. So you can wheel this to where you're working in your room, and those totes fit on top here, and then you've got your little themes, you know, to flip through here and uh, find some um, it's just a quick way, instead of having to worry about 12 by 12 pattern paper, you've got just little squares that you're decorating in amongst your photos. So, so I hope this video helps. I hope it shows that you can use Project Life to tell the story of journaling in your scrapbook layouts. And um, I think that's everything I wanted to show you. So thanks guys for watching, and tomorrow we'll do the next letter. Thanks.